the following is an exclusive presentation of the Yes Network. The University of Maine at Presque Isle has a Division III baseball team whose athletes play purely for the love of the game. And unlike its flagship campus in Arno, whose Division I baseball team is filled with scholarship athletes competing at the national level, the Presque Isle roster consists mostly of Maine locals who play all their games on the road. Here's why. The quaint town of Presque Isle, Maine sits just below the Canadian border and is dubbed North of Ordinary. It's also the home of the University of Maine at Presque Isle, whose students did not choose the school for its weather. The frigid temperatures of the potato harvesting town forced the baseball team to play all their games on the road. We play on the road because Mother Nature forces us to. Uh, and in order to play, that's just what we have to do. We have to travel. We very rarely can play home games because uh, the snow typically doesn't leave until late April sometimes the first couple of days of May, and we have to get our schedule in by then. A couple of games are scheduled at the season's end, but each year, the field is unplayable. I have never played a home game here. I've been here for four years right now, and every year we have a home game scheduled, but I have yet to play a home game here. The team utilizes the few weeks spent at home to practice, not outside, of course, but in the school gym. We get to try and take ground balls on the gym floor, but. It's, uh, it's hard to kind of do game-like situations when the space is limited. For most teams, game preparation begins a few hours before the first pitch. But for the Owls, it always begins days prior. Our closest road game is a seven-hour drive, and that's into Nashua, New Hampshire. We played down in Florida. We took two 15-passenger vans down to Florida, and we drove straight through, which took 28 hours. OK, a couple of things about the trip. The van pulls out of here at 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're staying in that hotel for seven nights so you can move in and you know, use the dressers. The guys get their game faces on for the typical double header filled road trip of 13 games in just eight days. We're packing up, we're going to Connecticut and it's about a 12 hour drive. We always get excited when we can leave the snow and get out and go play ball. And off they go. He doesn't like scary movies. I watched one last night and I almost cried. What'd you watch? Are you sure Falls. you watched it? The trips are far from glamorous, especially when compared to Division I schools. It's the same game, baseball, but it's not the same sport. Per diem is only $5 a meal. Usually we eat at fast food restaurants. The empty bleachers get old. We know we don't have any fans to come with us. And we know that if we're not cheering on the dugout or supporting our teammates, then nobody else will. It's a little difficult because having to be the away team every, every time, having first at bat, that means they get last at bat. Grades must remain high to stay eligible. It's hard to keep up with your academics and to be able to stay motivated to play. Four people cram into one motel room and the roster has to stay small so they can travel. Most of our players do play more than one position. Uh, I do have a few boys that they'll pitch and that's all, um, but they train uh, for the other as well. And because we have a small roster, I might have to take one of those boys that has been pitching and put them on the field. That's why at practice, all of my players spend time in the batting cage. They spend time working on their other positions. But despite all the challenges, this traveling baseball team just wants to play. I don't think I've ever heard Brandon complain about baseball ever. Mm -hmm. Anything about it. And the same with the rest of the team. They just don't. They just want to do it. I think every game they have is just, you know, they look forward to the next one. They play for the love of the game. It is a lot of travel and there, there's a couple of boys in the past that um, they didn't play because of the extensive traveling. For the ones that stick it out and for the, the 16 that are doing it, it tells me that they love this game uh, and they love the competition. It's definitely more than winning. It's, it's about playing baseball. I mean, you like to win and you compete hard every game to win, but at the end of the day, you're still playing the game you love. On three, one, two, three. Woo! Although they had a rocky start to the season, the team began picking up wins on the road trip we just saw.
I guess you'd have to really love the game to be crammed in two vans the entire season, but they got out of their tiny town. They got to see the East Coast, especially New York City.